Yeah, my name is Clay Leonard. I'm an artist and an educator. Uh, I currently work at the University of Houston Clear Lake. I'm a ceramic artist. I've been doing it for quite a while now. I've been doing it since my junior year of undergrad, uh, so probably about 15 years or so. Uh, I don't know why, but I went to school as a painter uh, and I put off taking ceramics because I didn't want to get my clothes dirty. I don't, I don't know why I thought that. As you can see, it's probably, you know, I haven't been clean since, but ever since I took it, I've been hooked. So I've worked with it ever since. I like working with my hands. Um, and I've never been, you know, I'm not good with building things or like really detail oriented necessarily, where it's like very strict structure. With ceramics, there's that fluidity. So you can bring in the creativity to it. It's physical, there's a visceral component to it. I remember the art history aspect of it and seeing this long lineage of artists and cultures. That was something that really attracted me and something I wanted to be part of. And then I just remember like throwing, it's just always a challenge. It's constantly a challenge and you're always learning. And I really like that challenge. So I use porcelain to make minimal serving wear uh, that's kind of influenced. I, I balance between kind of an industrial influence and then the history of like studio pottery or working with your hands. So I like this balance between like high perfection design with like this kind of literally fluidity and kind of unique imperfection of the hand. So my work kind of balanced between there. And I'm really interested in the communal aspects of things. So I do a lot of serving objects that engage multiple people and talk about kind of sharing an experience and social aspects of sharing a meal uh, and the benefits of doing that. So a lot of my work revolves around those ideas. And I think even for people that come in that aren't interested in the arts necessarily, I think there's so much to it where we talked about the challenge and hard work. It teaches you how to be like a creative thinker and think outside the box. It teaches you how to problem solve. And so all those things are like practical applications. But I just love ceramics and I, I think I really like and hope that students find a, a deeper appreciation for ceramic objects. Because uh, we we're, we see them, we're inundated with them. We see them every day with coffee cups and those things. And so I think we lose some of the sensibility of the making of those things and the importance of that and the power of those things too. So I hope that students will get kind of, if, even if they never want to touch ceramics again, I hope they have some kind of appreciation for the process of that and what those objects are and what they can be. Well, right now I'm working on a solo exhibition at the Plinth Gallery in Colorado, which is uh, in February and March of next year in 2020. Uh, so I'm really excited. It's my first solo exhibition in a while. So I'm really excited and I've been prepping work for that. So that's the next few months will be all about that. So I got a lot of work going, a lot of stuff behind me and things that are there. So that's the big project where everything's focused on. And I'm, I'm really excited for that. It was destined to be, I guess, right? I'm sure they're kicking themselves now, wish they would have picked a name that might've had some more financial, you know, maybe, you know, call me banker or something, I don't know. But um, I don't know, they just really liked the name and it just kind of worked. Um, I tell a story, it's like the only other person in my family that's really interested in art. Um, it's like my parents, they, you know, this is very foreign to them, is a great uncle and his name was Art. So we're a very literal family, right? So. Yeah, it just works. It's a huge hit at clay conferences too, wearing the name tag of walking around with clay. Yeah, it's a big hit.